I am back with another high quality YouTube video. Make sure you subscribe, turn post notifications. This is a higher video quality video, so you know these take a little bit longer to make. So go ahead and like the video if you do like the video. Helps me out. Leave any comments, questions down below. Add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is Brito's or Die, which is down at the bottom left. Make sure you go ahead and do that. So this today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to wash your hair naturally, how to make sure your hair is looking shiny like this, you know, connecting, looking magnificent. Even though this is 180 ways, you know, still got connections and all that. I'm gonna show y'all how to do that because that is very important. And I know I did a one how to wash 180 ways just regular, but this is like my go-to. This is my secret. You know, this is what I do. This is what I recommend to you if you have waves, no matter 180, 360, 540, or 720. Either way, this is gonna help you out. These are products that I use. So this is a before. This is what my hair is looking like before. It's kind of over curled. It hasn't really been managed that much. And that's okay when you are washing my, your hair in this way. And you are doing my method. You don't have to have your waves perfect. So I know a lot of times people ask me, I don't have waves yet. Can I do this? Can I do that? My method is for everybody if you just started or if you do have them already. And the first thing you're going to want is Shea Moisture products right here. We got a Shea Moisture uh, Mon Go Go Gon Go, uh, you know, high porosity shampoo. I'll probably get into the porosity levels a little bit later. That's a little bit more like more informational. But I use that shampoo because my hair maintains moisture immediately as soon as i put water in my hair my hair curls up i lose my wave pattern and i scramble wash but you know being that i'm a little bit more active than the average guy i make sure i wash my hair thoroughly i scramble wash because i don't want to you know miss any areas of my hair and i want baddies to be playing my hair so you know what i mean i gotta make sure it's looking nice you know what i mean i went clumped up i don't want it messed up so i use good shampoo and the shampoo that i'm using right here is a shea moisture high porosity they have shea moisture um high porosity and low porosity so low porosity is really if your hair does not uh maintain moisture that fast or it just takes long a lot longer for you to you know get your curls so look into that is different tests you can take to figure out which one your hair is i suggest you guys do that if you have time but basically i just wash my hair i make sure it's all throughout my hair i use warm water if i want my hair to be clean like i want my hair to be like super super clean i use hot warm water when i'm putting it in so that way it can just lather real nice uh get all through it and right here i don't really worry about my pattern because as again i'm active so i have to make sure i'm getting to my scalp like don't miss a scalp don't be trying don't try to be a pretty boy and miss your scalp like make sure you get into your hair that's what i recommend to you so that way you can clean your hair like it's just not like you know oh i'm scared of messing my ways my my scalp's not clean make sure you get to your scalp because that's important so i do this um i make sure it's all throughout and i clean it make sure you clean it you know don't skip this process don't be a pretty boy as i said before just make sure you get into the scalp so next process is i use the conditioner so shea moisture also has a conditioner for you guys and the conditioner is all natural as well the conditioner restores the moisture you took out with the shampoo so you want to use both you want to have both if you had the money to get both get both so you put the you put the moisture back in here with the conditioner it's very thick um it almost looks like lotion but it's going to be um just like a leave-in conditioner type of conditioner you know what i mean like so you want to wash it out but you know longer you have it in the better i recommend you guys get that that's what i use if i'm trying to you know show out make sure my way is shiny all that good stuff it's really really good and then also shower brush with this too or a comb depending and i think i'm gonna show you when i comb as well so i just make sure it's all throughout i get the back get the front almost as if i'm washing my hair but just using uh conditioner and the conditioner just makes sure your hair and scalp is conditioned and moisturized being that when you use any type of shampoo it dries your hair out one thing that I really want to tell you guys is that when you use a harsh shampoo, like if you use a shampoo that's really not made for your hair or is made for people with straighter hair, it's going to get all the oils out of your hair. It's going to dry your hair out. So that's why you want to use conditioner. It's just going to be a better feel for you. It's going to be a better look. 
and you don't have to keep washing your hair as often because it's dry. Using a conditioner is just gonna make sure it's dry throughout the weeks. You know what I mean? Like, it, I mean, no, it's gonna make sure it's conditioned throughout the weeks. It's gonna make sure that it's shining, looking as best as it can, and it's just a good product to have. And now you must use it. Do not skip on that. Just don't, don't be cheap with it. Make sure you get the conditioner too. So that way it's shining, looking good, everything like that. You need it. This is good. I'm telling you, it's what you need. Go ahead and get that. All right, so once I got the condition all throughout my hair, you're gonna see your hair do this. This is a good sign. When you damp your hair and it really lathers like that, that's how you know you have a good conditioner and shampoo. So I do this is just to make sure I got everything, to make sure everything is throughout. It's very important for you guys to do that. It was messing with my eyes this time. I know somebody commented that last time. It definitely got in my eye, so don't get it into your eye. I'm just doing a video to show you. But I make sure it's throughout my hair. You know, make sure I don't, because I want that shine. The main goal is to get the shine, make sure it's all throughout. So I use a good conditioner and I get it everywhere. But this is all natural. Remember, this is all natural. These are all natural products. So you're good. It's going to just help out with everything, even with your hair growing. If you want hair to grow a lot longer, this is going to help you. So make sure you get it throughout. Um, you know, don't worry about your pattern too much. Uh, because you want your scalp to be clean as, as well. You want to make sure it's nice, clean, even. So don't be afraid to scramble wash. And the reason I say that is because you can comb your pattern in. You can comb your pattern in or you can brush your pattern in. I do both because I want to make sure that my hair isn't over curling. And if it is, I want to maintain it and control it. So I get my comb out, get my pattern back popping, get my pattern back going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it's as deep as possible. And the comb is just going to straighten out any mixed in curls. So that's why you want to have a comb if your hair is longer. At this time, I was wolfing. So my hair is a lot longer and I need to make sure that it's getting any knots or tangles out. So that way my waves are more flawless, nice and shiny because we want to make sure it's shining. We'll make sure you shining and, you know, people know you're using good products. So that's why I recommend to you on that. All right, so once I got the shampoo out of my hair and I got conditioner out, we are going to do the hair mask. So you don't always have to use all three products all together. I would say this is like more like more or less if you're either really active and you need your hair to be clean or, you know, you want to be able to wear your hair longer without having to go for a wash. The the mask is really good for conditioning your hair like putting the moisture back in being that i am african-american you know what i mean like i had to make sure my hair is getting moisture that it needs throughout the day i don't need it to be dry i don't want to be putting too much products in after the fact so this this little bit helps my hair out so much because it coats every hair strand that i have and it makes it so i don't have to keep putting in more products or finding more products after i wash my hair it's like a one and done type of deal. After I wash it, I just put this in and I put my drag on. I'm good. But you want to put this in. The longer you have this deep treatment mask on for Shea Moisture, that, again, that's what I'm using here. It just makes it so much easier throughout the weeks, throughout the days. You don't have to keep looking for more, more products. You don't have to keep looking for, you know, your brush really. I recommend you brush, but you don't have to go too crazy with it because your hair is already going to be trained. So if you're looking to train your hair, definitely invest in a hair mask. Uh, if you look up people with uh, YouTube channels, they always recommend hair mask and it definitely helped my waves out just to last a lot longer. Like if I'm looking to wolf for like two months, three months or a month, having a good hair mask makes it easier. You know what I mean? Don't make it to where you have to work harder than what you need to. So, and then I also use a soft brush. I probably on this, my hair is a little bit higher. I recommend probably a medium. That would be a lot easier for me, but either way, I just brush it in to make sure that I'm getting all my curls together and make sure they're laying down as best as I can. So a harder brush is better, but for this, I got a soft brush. Just wanna make sure I had it in there. But you know, I brush it in, make sure I get my pattern, make sure I get back 
I get the pattern how I want to. Coleman helps too, but I just do both. You can just choose which one works best for you. Being that my hair is kind of curly, when it is wet, I use a, a brush, brush it in, and I just, this is where you really focus on your pattern. Like when you scramble wash and you um, find your brush or your comb, this just helps out with getting your pattern set back in to where you messed up with the scramble wash. So brush it in, make sure everything's coming out and you can see my hair is sticking up. Don't worry about that because that's normal. Waves are just laid down curls. So if your hair sticks up, that's fine. Just make sure you're brushing, make sure you keep up with that, keeping up with that and you're going to be good. But shower brushing is key. You know, a pattern again, I want to stress this to you. If you are struggling with your pattern, you don't necessarily have to scalp. Just shower brushing is going to help with laying your hair back down. So you don't have to worry about brushing for three days straight. You know what I mean? Like if you do a shower brushing, it's going to make it easier because your hair is going to dry in that pattern. And that's what you want. That's what's going to get you the connections that you are looking for and the connections that you need to set you apart. So make sure you know that and make sure you shower brush. Like if you aren't shower brushing, you're working harder than what you need to. I said it. Anybody got any questions, leave a comment because I will tell you. All right, so once I get all that together, I got all the good products that I recommend to you. The process is pretty much done. Everything is done. You can dry your hair off. Some people like to tower dry. Some people like to use a t-shirt. Some people use a microfiber cloth. I don't really do all that. That's up to you. I just use a towel dry it off because I got to go. I really don't have time to just let it sit like that. I'm not privileged enough to where I can just sit around with wet hair i'm probably gotta do something else so this is another thing too this is optional you don't have to do this but if you're looking for extra moisture which i am i know my hair dries out kind of fast i put in this is after i dry my hair off and everything i put in castor oil so castor oil helps with my scalp a lot of times people think castor oil is for hair only but the castor oil helps out with your scalp and your hair together so putting all it together just makes it a nice puzzle you know the finished product castor oil helps and this is my nut my next chain moisture product after the castor oil just depending on how much moisture i need i'm a moisture fiend i make sure my hair is really really moisturized i check out the coconut and hibiscus uh, hibiscus curling gel souffle this is personally my favorite if you have thick hair if you are mixed this is what you want to use you can use the curling hansen smoothie but for me personally i like this one this one they changed the formula i've been using this since i started my channel so i was like probably four years ago they changed the og formula the og formula was so much thicker and it was so much better but dealing with companies they change it you know and everything like that but you know, this is where my hair is dry. I put everything together, but I put it in both products because, you know, the casserole was for my scalp. The curling gel souffle is also for my scalp and my hair, but it's just it's a lot thicker and it's and moisturized a lot a more and moisturizes a lot, too. So that's why I use that. It's really nice, really good. It smells real good, too. It's a little bit kind of pricey but it is all natural that's what i do like about it so i just interchange between castor oil and i change it between uh the curling gel souffle that's the leave-in conditioner so that when you have that in it lasts as well so you can keep it and you can have your waves longer you know what i mean you can be like you can go without washing if that's what you want to do it'll your hair will still be clean by using natural products so that's one thing you want to keep an eye out on too just make sure that you have a product that works well with you and it makes your hair maintain longer so i use both i keep it in it works well with a do-rag as you're about to see shortly just keeping it all in moisturizing my hair get the shine that i need it because i want it to be a certain shine i don't want it to be dry you know some people have dry waves at school but i need my hair to be looking right especially when i'm about to get a cut 
it's, it's just this is how I do it. So, so yeah, I just you know put everything together. I still got the Trino Pro. Trino Pro go crazy. That's what I've been using. Just make sure my hair is laying down. This is like kind of like the final product. You, as you can see, my hair is a lot more shinier. It's just it's a lot more flat. It's a lot more, um, you know, easier to just more train. That's what I'm trying to say. More, it's just more easier to train. And this is how I get my waves deep. So you're looking to get your waves deep. You're looking to have like a natural, more um, better process. Shea Moisture is the way to go. Um, I've used other products that are great. But it's not the best. And if you're on my channel, I'm gonna tell you the best. I'm gonna tell you the cheat codes, tell you everything you need to do. Cause that's just where it's at. So yeah, that's the curl and gel souffle. That's the go right there. That's what I love. I always I don't wanna say no matter how much it is, I'm gonna get it. But if I see it, I'm gonna pick it up. If I don't have it, I'm gonna pick it up. And this is just the final part. I just put my do-rag on, make sure it's nice and tight. Um, this is you know, should be in the description of the do-rags what i use for that high quality do-rag and i sleep with it and i'm good and i just wake up with even deeper waves after that so that's anything that's all that i do just want to break it down tell you guys what i do and how i do it and you know get my opinions on the products and give you all a higher quality video because i know y'all was i know y'all be each of itching for the higher quality video so I had to pull that out it just takes me a minute to film it but i'm gonna still have them you know what i'm saying i'm still gonna put them out so that's the end of the video. If you haven't liked it already, make sure you like the video. Subscribe for more content because I will be having more content. And I will see you in my next video because y'all know I'm going to have bangers. So, go ahead and subscribe. Turn post